Today we're diving into some of the most shocking, mind-bending underwater discoveries of recent years. The ocean is still largely unexplored. In fact, only about 27% of the global seafloor has been mapped with modern high-resolution tech. So it should come as no surprise that some of what's down there is rewriting everything we thought we knew about life, geology, the rules of biology, and even the limits of habitability. I'm going to take you through 10 discoveries each one completely wild, each one very real, and by the end you'll see the ocean as a place full of mystery, surprise, and awe. So let's dive in. A sponge that traps prey like a little death ball was found deep under the southern ocean, and dozens of other new species joined it. In August 2025, the Ocean Census Workshop confirmed 30 new species from remote southern ocean areas. One of them, a spherical predatory sponge covered in hooks used to trap prey. Sponges are usually passive filter feeders. This one is actively predatory. This deep region remains profoundly undersampled, as stated by scientists. It tells us that even in places already explored, we're still finding major life history surprises. In one of Earth's most extreme places, scientists found a creature built to kill. The discovery was an amphipod species. Dulcibella Kamenchaka was formally described in 2024 and 2025. It lives around 8,000 meters in the Atacama Trench near Chile. This little critter is not your average scavenger. It's built with appendages suited to capture prey, living in an environment where most life is assumed to be slow, sparse, and passive. The fact it thrives that deep and hunts actively changes how we see life at depth. It means complex predator-prey systems can exist even in the darkest, highest pressure places. It also raises questions about deep sea biodiversity and how much more is out there. A ship that sailed hundreds of years ago lies at a depth humans rarely reach, and its discovery rewrites maritime archaeology underwater. In March 2025, the French Navy found a 16th century merchant shipwreck, provisionally called Camerat 4, more than 2,500 meters deep off the coast of France. The ship is 30 meters long, well-preserved, equipped with cannons, empty stern, raising questions about cargo, route, why it sank. Archaeology under deep water is extremely hard, yet this find shows that deep sea sites hold well-preserved time capsules of human history. It opens up new dimensions of underwater discovery beyond biology or geology. At nearly 10,000 meters depth, where pressure is crushing and sunlight non-existent, life not only exists, but thrives. A 2025 expedition to the Kuril Kamchata Trench and nearby trenches found tube worms, mollusks, and other fauna at over 31,000 feet, which is around 9,500 meters. This challenges the prevailing view that only microbes or extremely sparse life can live that deep. Instead, we see ecosystems that appear more substantial. It broadens the depth range where we expect ecosystems system activity and forces us to rethink how biological energy systems operate at extreme depths, feeding off carbon, sea page, microbes, not sunlight. Hundreds of creatures we've never seen are now known, and they're hiding in plain sight beneath the waves. In one of the largest biological surveys in ocean history, the collaborative Nippon Foundation, Necton Ocean Census, announced 866 new marine species identified from undersampled regions around the world. Among them were translucent worms, sponge-like organisms with never-before-seen body structures, and even small crustaceans adapted to pressures that would crush metal. The discoveries came from both the deepest trenches and shallow coastal zones that scientists had simply never really catalogued before. These finds prove that we've barely scratched the surface of ocean life. Experts estimate that as much as 80% of marine species remain undiscovered, meaning that every new expedition could rewrite what we think we know about biodiversity on Earth. Between 200 to 400 meters down, where sunlight fades, researchers found bacteria struggling. 
not because of lack of food, but because of lack of iron. A study in 2024 in the Pacific found that in the so-called twilight zone, which is about 200 to 1000 meters, iron concentrations were extremely low. Bacteria there secrete molecules to grab iron, even though light is absent. This overturns assumptions that microbial life in that zone operates in the same way as near surface waters. It also changes how we think about carbon cycling because these microbes help break down organic matter, which affects how carbon is stored in the deep ocean. So something tiny like iron deficiency has global implications. Scientists discovered that the deep ocean floor can produce oxygen, even in total darkness, without sunlight, without plants. That flips a major assumption on its head. In the clarion clipperton zone in the Pacific, polymetallic nodules, those potato-sized rocks loaded with metals, were found to generate oxygen via a geochemical process, perhaps electrolysis driven by natural voltages on the seafloor. The idea that rocks, not plants, might produce oxygen at 4,000 meter depths blows up the textbook. If oxygen can form this way, maybe Maybe we've been underestimating where aerobic life could exist, even on other worlds. It also challenges assumptions of how the deep ocean cycles nutrients and supports life. Under 200 meters of ice, scientists found what looks like a city of fish nests. In the Weddell Sea off Antarctica, beneath an ice shelf that has long hidden the sea floor, researchers discovered more than 1,000 circular nests of the fish species Yellowfin nodi. These weren't scattered randomly. They were arranged in sweeping curves and clusters like neighborhoods on the sea floor. The nests were cleared of detritus and organized, suggesting the fish built them intentionally for the protection of eggs and community benefit. We assumed these parts of the Antarctic sea floor were barren or simple. Instead, we find complex, organized animal behavior in one of the harshest climates on the planet. It definitely strengthens the case to protect these regions. Bigger than a blue whale and visible from space, a massive coral colony that had been quietly growing for centuries was finally brought to light. In late 2024, scientists from National Geographic pristine seas discovered in the Solomon Islands a solitary coral of the species Pavona clavis, measuring about 34 meters wide, 32 meters long, and over 5 meters high. Researchers estimated its age to be between 300 and 500 years old, making it one of the oldest living organisms on the planet. What's even more incredible is how it survived centuries of storms, warming seas, and human activity. This this discovery reveals that some coral species may have hidden refuges in deeper, cooler waters, potential safe havens against climate change. It also shows that life in the ocean can grow larger, older, and more resilient than anyone expected.